Okay, I'm back. So this is from, these are going to be all HA Films Blu-rays. Um, so there's stuff like Italian films, um, there's like zombie films, Italian zombie films, um, we've got a Jackie Chan film, and there's like monster films, sci-fi films, so yeah. So from the Italian collection, I've got four of these, the Amore ones. So spine number seven, it's if I can pronounce this right, Afra Amphra Pophagus. George Eastman on the front on the front there. One of the video nasties that were banned back in the day. Spine number 14, we've got Burial Ground, what very underrated zombie film, very very shocking zombie film, um, yeah, so, there we go, then we got a Giello, so spine number 30, got Perfume with the Lady in Black, I remember not to show anything, there's, there's any explicit photos or anything like that. And then we've got um, spine number 43, got two evil eyes, Giorgio Romero, uh, Dario Argento. This is a um, an anthology. Blu-ray, so an anthology film. So then we've got coming on to the slip covers. So another giallo film, um, Black Veil from uh, Felisa, John Mills. I always thought he looks like um, Peter O'Toole in that picture, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty good giallo film. Not one of the best, but still enjoyable. And a lot of these are all limited slip covers, so. Then we've got uh, Body Melt. We've got Harold from Neighbours. Yeah, and these, some of these are from the vault as well, so. So. Yeah, so we've got spine number 10 from the ATA vault from 1993. That's, yeah, Body Melt. And again, these are all limited edition slip covers. Be nice to try and find all these. This is an Australian, um, so you can call it trauma type, kind of like, kind of the same vein as like Peter Jackson. Then we've got Creepazoids, low budget eighties sci-fi horror. Then and that's from the vaults so spine number four. Then we've got Night of the Demons 2. I love that art cover. Again, it's limited edition slip covers. Then we've got a Jackie Chan film, we've got Drag Abyss. I would say it's not one of my favourite Jackie Chan films. I mean, I haven't seen many, but but yeah, this one is one of his early early films. Then we have got um, Evil Speak with Clint Howard from um, Gentle Ben. He's one Howard's brother. Then one, a really good giallo film, got Eyeball. Yeah. And 
and then we've got Grizzly. Another one of those knockoff, like from like from like animal horror films. So then we've got a collector's edition of Hollow Man and Hollow Man 2. I really like the first one. The second one's not much good. But I do like the artwork on that. It's got like the director's cut and um, the actual cut, so. Okay, then I've got Mystery Men. Very underrated comic book, comic book superhero film. Ben Stiller is a big cast. As you can see, Ben Stiller, Hank Azaria, Greg Kinnear, Paul Rubens, William H. Macy, Wes Studi, Eddie Izzard. Yeah. Not your average superhero film, it's just yeah, it's really underrated in my opinion. I love the, um, the slip cover because it's got like the superheroes in the spine there. Okay, then I got another Giallo film, um, Nightmare Beach, and this really surprised me. I really enjoyed this. It's about a killer who's dressed in like a he's got he's a, rides a motorbike and he's dressed like in a, a full helmet and stuff like that, and he kills. Uh, uh, yeah, so I won't show you the back because it's got nudity and stuff. Then this is a film I had on VHS back in the day. Um, it's got like a big cast again, John Candy, Sean Young, Sybil Shepherd, George Hamilton. It's a hit, like a kind of a hood in it. Once upon a crime. And it's such a fun a fun like crime caper who done it film. Then a recent pickup uh Piranha 2 the Spawning, James Cameron's first ever film. And this is limited this is limited to 3,000 copies with a slip cover. It's got a poster inside, so there ain't many features on this. Just like they've got limited and slip cover poster, no 2K scan of the original negative, and it's got like a trailer and stuff like that. Okay, we've got um, this is Porky's Revenge, it's the third film in the Porky's franchise. One of those um, back in the day, like sex teen comedies, a bit like like the Last American Vir Last American Virgin, and you know, early like American Pie teen comedy. Okay, this is another. Uh, this is um, Prison. I love the artwork on that. So, eighties low budget horror film. Then one of my favourite puppet films, horror puppet, puppet horror films, got Puppet Master, the first one. Yeah, that's the original artwork, which I like. Then we've got uh, Rats, Night of Terror. Again, limited slipcover. A lot of these have limited slipcovers, so you have to try and get your hands on them when you can. Then another Giallo film, uh, Seven Bloodstained Orchids. Umberto Lenzi directed this film, and I I like this film. Never seen it before. Always wanted to add it to the collection. Once I saw that it was being released. Then we've got trauma film, Street Trash, probably one of the best trauma films. Yeah, didn't get the um, slip cut of this, unfortunately. But it's got limited um, features. And this is the Vault, it's 88 Vault, and that's spine number five. So. Okay, then we've got uh, DC Comics, Swamp Thing. 
tons of features on this. So glad I got this. I don't know if it helped print or not, but yeah, it's one thing. Adrian Bobo is in this, and um, yeah, it's obviously she's in the fog. And then finally, from the 88 film, my 88 films collection, and we've got, I bought this ages ago. This is um, the Toxic Avenger, the first one. This is a HMV exclusive limited slip cut suitcase. And um, yeah, it's got the green, green case. Yeah. So that's, that's it. That's all my medium rare pre mantle Blu rays and all my 88 films Blu rays. So yeah, so. That's that bit. So next up, hopefully, going to show you my Slasher Classics collection and my, my indicator, um, and then the 101 black label stuff and 101 red label films. So yeah, thanks for sticking with me, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.